In this video, we're going to determine the wavelength of monochromatic light using a laser. Our apparatus consists of a helium neon laser, a diffraction grating with 600 lines per millimeter, and two meter sticks for measurements. To determine the wavelength of the laser, we will use the diffraction grating formula. D in this formula is the grating constant. It's equal to the width of one line and one slit on our grating. Our diffraction grating has 600 lines in one millimeter. There's actually 600 lines ruled in one millimeter of space on the grating. So to calculate the value of D, it's just one millimeter divided by 600. Or I usually change the meters at this stage. So it's one by 10 to the minus three meters divided by 600, which is equal to 1.67 by 10 to the minus six meters. In our experiment, our laser beam will strike our diffraction grating and form a diffraction pattern. The zeroth order, first orders and possibly higher orders will be clearly visible. As you can see, a right angle triangle is made up between the zeroth order, the diffraction grating and the first order. This is our value theta. To determine a value for theta, we can measure the distance from the zeroth order to the first order, x. We can measure the distance from the diffraction grating to our diffraction pattern, d and then use inverse tan of x over d to solve for theta, the angle of diffraction. The first part of the experiment is to set up our meter stick against the wall. This will allow us to measure the distance between the orders in our diffraction pattern. We can then begin to align our laser carefully. We should try to aim the spot of the laser at the center of the meter stick at 50 centimeters. Now we can introduce our diffraction grating. As you can see, the zero order is still visible at the center of our meter stick at 50 centimeters. We can also see the first and second orders on the left hand side, as well as the first and second orders on the right hand side. We can now measure the distances between the orders on both sides. Finally, we can measure the value for D, the distance from the diffraction grating to the ruler. So just a note on measuring X and D. Our aim is to get a value for theta. As I said previously, if we measure X and D, we can solve for our angle. But we can make our measurements more accurate by measuring a second value of x using the first order on the right hand side. We can then use this average value of x to solve for theta. Once we've completed our measurements, we can then adjust the position of the diffraction grating to change the value of d. As you can see, this changes the spacing between the orders. This will allow us to calculate a new value for the wavelength of monochromatic light. So here's our experimental data. The average values of x were calculated for distances ranging from 10 centimeters to 40 centimeters in steps of five centimeters. Here is the table of our experimental measurements. All of our data was taken for the first order and the grading constant was the same for each measurement. We can now use our values of x and d to calculate the corresponding angles theta. All of our angles look similar, so we're on the right track. We can now use the diffraction grading formula to calculate values for lambda. The average value of lambda was found to be 637.3 nanometers. During our experimental measurements, we could also have measured the distance from the zero order to the second order. Using the grating formula, we could also determine a value for the wavelength of light. The only difference is that, that this time n equals 2. So our wavelength lambda is equal to d sine theta divided by two. This table shows all the data recorded for measurements using the second order. As you can see, the final values of lambda are similar to the values we had for our first order measurements. The average value of lambda was found to be 636.7 nanometers. This last table shows all of our experimental results combined. Our average value for the wavelength of the laser was 637 nanometers. And that's how we measure the wavelength of monochromatic light. 
The actual wavelength of this laser is 633 nanometers, so our values were quite close. For more videos of experiments and for information about our course, please check out the Physics and Instrumentation playlist on the ATU YouTube channel. And please like our videos so we know if we should keep making more of them.